Well, welcome friends, Apostle Duane here, and I just want to take the time to talk to you today about the glorious step every believer is called to, and that is the step of being baptized in Christ Jesus, water baptism. Now, you may ask the question, you know, why be water baptized? Well, first, let us look at our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the fact that he too embraced baptism as a part of his journey in fulfilling all righteousness as declared by his father. Father. And we see this in Matthew chapter 3. And I want to read this here for you if you can just follow with me. It says, As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him, I am well pleased. And so here we see, again, the Father revealing his pleasure concerning Jesus as he walks in what was revealed as righteousness before God. And John the Baptist, who was his cousin, who was baptizing, didn't even want to baptize him because he knew Jesus was Lord. But still, Jesus said, I must fulfill what is right in my Father's eyes. I must fulfill all righteousness. And so, baptism is something that was embraced by Jesus. He set the example. But it was also something that he commanded. In Matthew 28, when we hear the Great Commission coming from our Lord and Savior, he says these words, Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20, then Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. So again, here in Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20, we see Jesus giving the command to go disciple all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We also see in the book of Acts, as the disciples were baptizing, we see them baptizing in the name of Jesus. And so again, baptism is something that not only Jesus gave as an example by his own life, but he also commanded us to do as we share the message of the gospel to the nations. Now, why is it so significant? Again, this act of baptism. Now, the word baptism literally means to be immersed. It speaks of full immersion, a man under the water and coming back out. And we see that it is significant first and foremost as our public declaration that we are now followers of Jesus Christ. In the book of Acts chapter 2 verse 41, this is what it says, those who accepted his message were baptized. We see there was a great harvest there, but those who accepted the message of Jesus were baptized. And so the first significance of baptism is that it is a public declaration that you are a follower of Jesus Christ. Second of all, it is a declaration publicly that you have began a new life in him. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says that you are now a new creation in Christ Jesus. All things have passed away and behold, all things have become new and you have now been conformed to be his agent of reconciliation, amen, whereby Christ can plead through you to a lost and dying world saying, be reconciled to God. In other words, Jesus wants to use you, amen, as a carrier of his glory and a carrier of his good news. But it is the declaration that you have started this new life in him. In fact, when we look at what the word of God says in the book of Romans, Romans chapter six, verse four, let me read it to you. It says this, we are therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. And so we know Jesus went into the grave, but on the third day he rose again. And beloved, baptism is a sign of that. When we are immersed into the water, it's a sign again of our old life, amen, again being suppressed, but our new life as we rise from the water, just as Christ rose from the dead, that we are rising in new life, amen, and beginning a new life in Christ Jesus. And so it's a public declaration 
mission of your new start, of your new beginning in Christ. It is also, thirdly and last of all, a public declaration that you are now a part of the family of God. Let's listen to what the Word of God says. In Galatians 3, verse 26 to 27, it says, So in Christ Jesus you are all children of God through faith. For all of you were baptized into Christ and have clothed yourselves with Christ. You see that there? You have been baptized into Christ, immersed into his life and living. And so it is that public declaration that you are now a part of the family of God. Amen. And so I am excited for you and I'm excited for God's purpose coming alive in your life as you embrace baptism for yourself. And you might say, but what must I do? How do I qualify to be baptized? Well, for those that went out and heard the gospel, they had to do this one thing. They had to repent. They had to repent of their former life and make a decision to prepare themselves to live a life that is surrendered to Jesus. And in the same way, I mean, as we come to God, we must always first repent. John the Baptist's message was repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. When Jesus came, he said the same thing. Repent, change your ways, change your mindset for the kingdom of God is at hand. And so we are called to first embrace a repentant life where we accept Christ into our heart. But after that moment, then we are called to publicly declare, amen, our salvation. You see, our salvation is not supposed to be a private thing nor a hidden thing. Amen, we are supposed to publicly declare that we are followers of Christ. And going through baptism, water baptism, is the announcement, amen, the symbol of that very thing. Praise God. Now, some of you, you may have said, but you know what? I was baptized before, but my life did not live up to what Jesus has called me to, and I did not walk as a follower of Jesus Christ. Well, maybe in that moment, you may have been encouraged to do so, but you may have not been at that place where in your heart, you would have surrendered yourself to the Lord Jesus. But if you are here now and you have surrendered to Jesus, beloved, we encourage people to be baptized again. Amen. Because in the midst of this moment, you are now surrendering your heart afresh to him. And it is only fitting that you would make that public declaration that again, your life is in service to him. So we encourage people, whether you are baptized, maybe when you were young, maybe your parents encouraged you, but you didn't quite understand. But now here you are accepting Christ in your heart, giving your heart to him afresh. Amen. Enter into this place of releasing a public declaration of your knowing and walking in him amen by being baptized now if you are a child and you desire to be baptized we usually encourage children seven and older usually because if they are younger they will not more so remember the moment but we like to give children time and so children seven or older we welcome into that place of being baptized amen but if you are younger we also do child dedication where we pray and dedicate again whether it is a baby or a child we dedicate them to the Lord praying and anointing them just like Jesus when he was a child his parents carried him to be dedicated but we also know again further as we read earlier from Matthew 3 he was also baptized so dedication is something that we also do for children and we do so the third Sunday of the month and so if you desire to have your child dedicated or if you have a baby you desire to dedicate them them to the Lord like Jesus was. Again, sign up. Our forms are here that you can sign up on our website. And also you can give us a call and you'll see the number just come up there on the screen whereby you can give us a call and get in touch with us so that you can start that process for your child. But if they are seven and older and they have a conviction, a man of Jesus, and they desire to live for him, we encourage them to be baptized. And we usually do our baptism on the fourth Sunday of the month. And so we are excited for you. And again, if you have any questions, please reach out to us at the information provided here on the screen. Well, God bless you. We encourage you to stand and let the world know who you serve and who you follow. And I am so excited to have the opportunity, myself and all of the other leaders here at Awake the Flame Ministries, to be a part of your journey in giving and surrendering your all to Jesus. God bless you.